Welcome back to Music and Wood. Today, we're going to look at a problem that you might have around the house. Have you ever turned on the cold water faucet and had warm or hot water come out even after you've let it run for a while? It still doesn't get as cold as you remember it being. Likely, you have a cartridge that's failed in some faucet somewhere. These are used in single handle faucets, like in the shower or sometimes bathroom sink or kitchen sink, and these cartridges mix and control the flow of the hot and cold water. Sometimes when they fail, they can fail to where they're now constantly mixing the hot and cold water. That will then affect all of the other faucets in your house. So how do you find which faucet has failed? There's a few different ways. The way I like to do it generally is go to each faucet that is a single handle faucet, turn it onto the cold side, and whichever faucet is the warmest, likely that's the one that's failed. Sometimes you can't even get any cold water to come out of that faucet. Another way you can think about trying to find the bad faucet is, is there any single handle faucet that you haven't used in a while, but recently did use, and then shortly after that, you notice the problem with the water not being as cold as it used to be. That's likely then to be the faucet that's your problem. So what we're going to do is look at how to replace the cartridge. It's very simple. And an easy task. All you'll need is a cartridge, cartridge puller to remove the old cartridge, a Phillips driver, some needle nose pliers. Now, before we get to removing the cartridge and taking the faucet apart, make sure to turn off the water to your house. Or if you can isolate and turn off a certain section of your house, do that. In my case, I had to turn the water off for the whole house. And since we're in the basement, all of the piping through the house still had water. So I had to open up a few faucets and let all the water drain out from the top down to ensure that the water is now out of the piping. And when I pull the faucet, a whole bunch of water won't come gushing back out. So after you've turned off the water and let it drain, we can start to replace this faucet. Let's get to it. The first step is to remove the knob. Sometimes there's a set screw that you can remove, which then pulls off the handle. And sometimes there's a cap which covers a Phillips head screw. In this case, we've got a cap. We can remove that. And then we'll get our Phillips driver and remove the screw. Before completely removing that, it's a good idea to take something like paper towel or any kind of towel and just go ahead and plug up the drain. So if anything falls out while you're working on your faucet, you won't lose it down the drain. Now that the screw is removed, we can just pull that knob right off. Next, we've got the plastic hot water limiter. And this device goes in here and allows you to set the maximum hot water mixture that you can use with your faucet. If you like where it was, make sure to leave that two pieces of plastic set together in the same configuration for when you replace it. And then we've got a washer to remove. And then the sleeve. That's kind of tight, so you just kind of grab onto it and wiggle that sleeve right off. Now with the sleeve removed, we can use our needle nose pliers. And there's gonna be a pin holding the cartridge in, and we can pull that pin right out. Next, we can grab our special cartridge removal tool. We'll take that and unscrew the Phillips screw from the back here. And then we'll make sure the teeth are exposed on the front part, which will wrap around the plastic sides of the cartridge. And once that's up against the cartridge, screw in Phillips screw into where the faucet handle was screwed into. With that screwed in, you can now crank down on the nut portion of the cartridge removal tool. And that's going to pull it out a bit. And then you should be able to kind of hold and wiggle it out. And we have the cartridge removed. There's just a little bit of water left in the pipes that's coming out. 
With the cartridge removed, we can now take the lubrication package that came with the new cartridge, open that up, and we'll want to lubricate the rubber seals and the gasket on the new cartridge. We can just pour the lubricant over the rubber here. and then rub that along the gasket as well. Excellent. Now, we can put the cartridge back in. You'll see an H and a C, hot and cold, and generally a line for the bottom. So we will put that in with hot on the left, cold on the right, and the line at the bottom. Just push the cartridge back in, reinstall the clip, wipe your hands off to remove the lubricant so your tools and the screw doesn't fall out of your hand. Slide the sleeve back on, put the washer back on, put our hot water limiter device back on, Take the handle and line that up here correctly and put that back on. Give that a couple of turns, make sure that it's working correctly. And then we'll take the screw that holds the handle in place, put that back in. Don't really need to crank down too tight on that, just tight enough. Take our cap and replace the cap with the writing the right side up. And now it's good. Let's turn the water back on and turn this on to make sure it's working correctly. The water to the house is turned back on, so let's test our handiwork. Excellent. We've properly replaced the cartridge in our shower faucet and solved our cold water not being cold problem. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If so, please give it a like as well as subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press that notification bell. I'll see you next time on Music and Wood. Mm -hmm.